It's bow and arrow available. First question from Dave Asaga. Hey Terrence, just curious, what's the season been like for you coming into spring training a little bit later and then, you know, everything that's occurred um, since? Uh, I would say it's been a, almost like a roller coaster with uh, the COVID thing and how we started off and the whole like the bubble and being uh, coming to a new organization, uh, that's always a new. It's like I always said it was like a coming to like a going to a new high school. So you had to meet like new friends and new teammates. But I played against you guys a lot when I was actually with the Royals and uh, with Kansas, not with Kansas City, but in their minor league system. So I knew a lot of these guys over here. Uh, I talked with uh, a couple of players here, and I've learned by far the most when it comes to like hitting and in general baseball. Like you guys have so much like talent and so much like knowledge about the game that I never even experienced at all in my whole career so Terrence uh, have you had any visions of being that pinch runner that the Dodgers have you on this roster for I mean your manager might be the most famous pinch runner in baseball history are you have you had visions of a moment like that uh yeah I actually have and I, I, I talked to Doc yesterday about it and he was like you're that he said you're the you're the faster me of it and I started laughing at him and uh yeah, I'm definitely here to do my do my job and do my part and help this team win uh, win games. Thank you. Next question is from Maria Torres. Go ahead. Hey, Terrence. Hey. Um, I was wondering how you would compare this team to the Royals teams that you were on. <laughs> uh, it's I wouldn't say it's like similar. Like like this team is like a lot of like there's a lot of guys that can put. Uh, get the ball out of the, out of the, out of the ballpark pretty quick and uh I felt like the Royals were just they were just we were just fast and we played really good defense the Dodgers played really good defense I think only like offensive wise wise uh, I would say the Royals we just I mean we played small ball we bunt in and we did anything we could to score runs where with the Dodgers I feel like it's literally it take one pitch and it could be four nothing so okay. That makes sense. And like, obviously like the markets are very different in Kansas city versus LA. Um, are there, are there any like parallels that you might be able to draw uh, between the, I don't know, but I guess between the people, people in the clubhouse and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I feel like the, the leadership is the exact same when it came from the Royals and when it came to the Dodgers for sure. Uh, the leadership over there, you had like Alex Gordon, Salvador Perez and Eric Hosmer. And over here you got Turner, you got, Seeger, you got Mookie, and like, you, I mean, honestly, you can kind of tell like once we won the World Series, like the demeanor changed with the Royals, and I feel like when Mookie came to the Dodgers, like you already knew like he had won a World Series, like the way he came in the clubhouse, the way he like told you like how it's like how he wanted to get back so bad, and what he need, he thought the team needed to do to get there, it was just amazing. So, what do you remember about uh, about spring training and, and Mookie and his leadership? Uh, just in general, man, he's just a good guy. He came in there one time in spring training, and he's probably been there maybe, I think it was like two and a half, three weeks, and he had a meeting in front of the whole clubhouse. Like, it takes guts to do that in general. Just like you've been there so short a period of time, you come in there having a meeting, saying like the things we can do to get better, even like, like little things too. It was like we would just charge each other like five, ten bucks, like an era at all the practice. And it cleaned up so much of our baseball. Because, like, granted, I mean, five or ten bucks, we, we actually didn't really, like, pay it, pay it. But, like, in your mind, you didn't want to, like, make any errors. You want to be perfect. And that's what he strived for is being perfect at something. Hypothetically, did you owe him any money? <laughs> I think I was on, like, 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, Terrence. Mookie, hey, Mookie owes some money, too, now. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> thanks, Terrence. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
Next question is from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead. Hi, Terrence. Five postseason steals. You're obviously so well known because of your speed and add such a value to this club. How much have you appreciated just being a guy that is relied on heavily because of your legs and, and having the opportunity to be on this wild card roster? Uh, I mean, it means a lot to me, honestly, personally. Uh, I've always told myself I'm trying to better myself as a baseball player, but as like as my career continues and keeps going on, like I'd work on other things at certain point in time. So like now I'm not really working on like hitting the ball and like I'm playing defense, of course, but I'm not really like, hitting the ball. I'm really working on my base running because you guys, like the Dodgers said, they want me here to pinch run and maybe score some crucial runs for them. So I'm uh, changing my, I'm not really changing my strategy when it comes to that, but I'm actually just trying to work, be perfection, be perfect at till it again, so. And how, how does one do that? How does one perfect base running? Um, obviously, you're, you're born with the speed, but how do you perfect it? What do you do? It's multiple reps. Uh, <laughs> Georgie has had me out there stealing off all the, all our pitchers already. So, I mean, just reps at the reps at the reps. And you just keep doing it. It's like if you do anything else in life. You just keep doing it. Eventually, hopefully, become really good at it. In the event that it's not the postseason and you're not, you know, on a roster just for your legs, what is it about your overall game that you said you wanted to improve in terms of in terms of hitting or in terms of defense? How do you become an, a better all-around player? Uh, just a little things. I want to like I want to uh, do the situation better, like situational hitting, putting the ball in play. I mean that plays, but I want to actually drive the ball more. And I think with the Dodgers. Even when I was with the, the Yankees for a little bit, like those guys were telling me, like, you got to stop, like, because all my career I've always been told, like, hit the ball to the ground, hit the ball to the ground, hit the ball to the mm -hmm. ground. It's pounded in my head for over and over and over. But, like, I came to these other organizations, and they're like, dude, don't do that. Like, these, these guys are really good. They they know how to fill the ground ball. I don't care how fast you are. They'll get you out. And they, uh, they're they teaching me how to actually drive the ball a little bit, put it in the gaps and get doubles and stuff, so. How long does it take to change that mentality when you come up with an organization and they're talking about, you know, driving it into the ground and then you go to other organizations in the league and they want you to completely change your focus? How long does it take to do that in your mind? I'm still learning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I don't, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Every, every player is different for me. I feel like it's taking me a little bit. I wouldn't say a little bit longer because my BP is improving my, my, uh, I mean, just in general, like when it comes to ba baseball and hitting the ball hard is my hard contacts improving. So, I mean, I'm working on it. It's getting better. But right now I'm putting it on the back burner because I got to get ready to start selling some bases. Okay. Thanks so much for your time. Best of luck in the series. Thank you. Go ahead, Eric. Terrence, I was wondering, when, when you were designated for assignment in late July, did you think this opportunity would happen again? like so soon this year to be to be back up with the team? Uh, I knew there was a chance. And honestly, I was, I'm not even going to be honest, I was really close to actually going somewhere else. But I don't know, something told me to just stick it out, you know, grind it out and work on my craft down at USU and all at the alternative site. And that's what I did. I, I was really, really close to actually like going to another team. But something just told me just to hang it out. I mean, I love the club. I even told my agent that. I was like, I really – really like the Dodgers like I, I don't know what it is about the Dodgers but like the way you guys go about the, your business and the way you teach players to play the game of baseball and like all the mechanics and I don't know you got so much stuff I've never even seen in my life and I'm a really blown away by the stuff and the technology you guys have and over here with the Dodgers so I told him I'd already told him like I really wanted to like stay with the Dodgers no matter what so how much different was this year in working on your craft or whatever it was down at SC with no games as opposed to like a normal minor league season? Uh, I don't think it was that much different, honestly, because we would do the exact same thing you do as a minor league. Like we practice, then we play games. But only thing that was different, of course, were the fans. But when it came to like getting your reps in and getting all your stuff done and working out, and it's probably any other day you do it in just a regular season. Thanks. Next question is from Mario Castillo. Go ahead. Uh, Terrence, how fast are you? <laughs> uh, what, do, what do you mean, like, how fast? Like, are uh, you when was the last time you ran a 40 or something? <laughs> oh, man. I ran a, last time I ran a 40 would be probably right before I got drafted. Maybe, like, 2011. I don't know. If I ran a 40 right now, honestly, I probably could run 
a four three four two ish runner. I ain't running a four four. If I run a four four, I'm I'm just gonna retire. I'm gonna retire. So you mentioned working on your craft. So what are you doing? Are you doing like sprinter workouts? Like what do you what do you do? Like uh, I'm doing more uh, reaction because I figure I figure like the older I'm getting, the my reaction time is not like as quick as it like I wouldn't say as quick as it used to be, but like it's a little off. And then that like I said, like more reps help. Doing like a lot of like reaction, like going different ways, agilities and stuff like that. It helps out a lot. So thank you, man. Got a question from Ron Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, Terrence, what, like when you were at the, the alternate site at USC, knowing that, you know, your role, if you had one in, in October, would probably be this. Are you, are you spending that time doing anything different than the other guys? Is it more running, sprinting, or are you still kind of going through the same drills? Uh, every so we would have a, we had a couple, we had a lot of games actually. And every, every other game, I wouldn't do it every game. I would act like it was like, the eighth or ninth inning, I would go on first base and I was still – then I told the pitchers and I told the catchers. I was like, look, I'm still in, in two pitches or whatever. Like, I was just telling them, like, I don't care what you do. Like, just, just play the game like you normally would, but just know I'm on first base. So, uh, but other than that, everything stayed the same. And you talked about, like, the, the, the knowledge of the game that you've kind of learned here and, and picked up here. I mean, do you have any examples of that? You, you had also mentioned, like, you know, kind of changing the way mentally you want to drive the ball a little more. Is that, is that sort of what you mean? Just kind of the mentality no, of how to hit? About like, <laughs> you guys got like a DVR that like puts up any pitcher you want to, and it like throws the pitcher at you. So basically it literally looks like the pitcher's in front of you and you're hitting off of him. Like stuff like that, you don't really, I mean, I've never even seen anything like that. And like all the, the hitting drills you guys use, like you're hitting the hitting coaches, like the, with like the tennis balls and the, like the one, like Will Smith had like a neck brace on his neck one time. I'm like, I, I mean, I came over here. I was like, what in the world is going on over here? But after a while, I finally like it clicked to me what these guys were actually doing. Like everything was for a purpose. And like, I was just really amazed because I've never seen any other player do it. Like, like when I say like not one player, like a lot of them, like three or four players were doing it. So I, I knew something had to be working if a couple players were doing it. And and you'd mentioned you'd almost kind of gone somewhere to now be in, in, this position you know what's it what's it mean to you to have a chance to to go back potentially for another you know late postseason run i mean it mean it means a lot to me it means a lot to my family uh i feel like i made the right choice i just went with my gut and my gut told me to stay with the dodgers and i knew they i knew the dodgers were a really good team and i knew they were more than likely were gonna make the playoffs but i mean i had a little doubt but i just like i said i just stay with my gut thanks yeah Got time for one more. Go ahead, DJ. Hey, Terrence, uh, several times you've referred to the Dodgers as you guys, this, you guys, that, and not we. Uh, it's almost like you're talking about them uh, as a separate team. Is it kind of a weird situation just to sort of be here uh, on such short notice and and uh, almost like you're on loan a little bit? I couldn't even hear it. What did he say? I said you you use the words when you're talking about the Dodgers. You guys have this. You guys have that. Not we. Uh, almost like you're. you're not yeah, there. I've been so many teams. It's just I, it's something I, I don't know. What I, I mean, I'm just talking. I don't. I mean, I'm definitely part of the Dodgers now. But I'm just. I don't know. I'll just who knows. We're good. 